morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Yarn Dungeon. I'm actually going to be leaving here very quickly, and we're going to go to Muse 2320, which is my favorite local yarn shop. I have seen a couple of new colorways on Sarah's Instagram that I was like, ooh, I want to see that in person, but I haven't set any plans aside because I know that if I pick a colorway and then I make ideas and plans for a project, I'm going to get there and see about 10 other different colorways that I want to do different projects, and then it's just like overwhelming. So I normally just go to her shop, chit chat a little bit and see what inspiration hits me while I'm there. Otherwise I come back with the entire shop. I need to pick up my Muse 2320 Troop Yarn, which is a yarn subscription for the entire year. Yes, I know I'm really, really behind. It is almost the end of February and I still haven't picked it up yet. So every single month there is a new colorway that comes out and it's a hank of yarn plus a mini hank, I think. There were two different options for the weight of yarn, either sock or DK and I'm already doing a year-long sock subscription. I just kind of felt like doing two pairs of socks every single month for an entire year might be a little bit much for me. I love the idea. Two brand new pairs of crocheted socks every single month. It might just be a little bit overwhelming for me. So I opted for the DK weight. I'm thinking that I want to decide on something where this is going to end up being a gift. This yarn is so special and as much as I love it, I want to share it too. And so either I'll make them as I go or at the end of the year in December I just have 12 gifts hanging out in the yarn dungeon and kind of like figured out once I get there For some reason I feel like this yarn needs to be shared. So that's the direction I'm going with it Just like I thought, there was a lot of different yarn there that I was not expecting. There are these colorways based off of musicians, and for whatever reason, I guess I just was not paying close enough attention, they come with stitch markers that reflect each musician. Let me show you the one that I grabbed. The vibrancy that Sarah can come up with in yarn, like it's just, this pops. And the greens, she's just like killer with that. This one is called the Ramones. And look at this stitch marker. It's a cassette tape. How freaking adorable is that? It comes with this, which you could totally use that as a crochet stitch marker. Just leave it attached onto it. Otherwise, if you knit, this is all ready to go. But I have an entire bag of lobster class. So I think I'm just gonna put that on here. What do I wanna do with this yarn? I genuinely don't know. This is a fingering weight yarn, I think, too. So I had no intention of getting getting more sock yarn, but here I am. Two ply fingering weight, 80% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, perfect for making socks. I don't think I'm gonna do that, only for the fact I have someone in mind that this color would be so freaking perfect for. I'm gonna gift away what I make with this. The stitch marker I am keeping because the person that I'm giving it to doesn't crochet or knit in any way, shape or form. So it would just be like, you don't need it, right? Like you don't need it, it's totally fine. There was one uh, inspired by Lizzo that had a flute charm on it. I think there was a Johnny Cash one that, that had a guitar stitch marker. I'm a sucker for stitch markers in general. And the fact that the colorway matches what the stitch marker is more than sold me. This next color I got, I immediately 
was drawn to it. As soon as I got into the store, I was like, what is that? What is that color? Because I wanna make a cardigan, I wanna make a sweater, I wanna make some pants, like I want everything in this color. And wouldn't you know, it is the color highlighter. I have used this so many times. DK weight, worsted weight, a chunky one, but never the tweed. This is the stuff that does glow under UV light. So I have already made a sweater out of this. Fingering weight in highlighter. I made a sweater on my Addy machine machine and that one was for a haunted house that I was going to. I was like, I just want to make a sweater specifically for this haunted house because it was supposed to be super spooky and it totally was. I had a freaking blast there. I want to hold this together and make a beanie with this on my Addy machine. I just felt like these two colors just go together. So I did not get any yarn for myself today. All of these are going to be gifts, but she does do special orders and since it's right there, I just feel like I can pop over anytime and grab the colorway that I need need for whatever reason. I'm just feeling like giving the gift of Muse yarn. I don't know. That's the mood that I'm in today. I guess. For the yarn subscription, the thing that I actually went to the shop for, look how freaking cute this bag is. Troop 2320 of 2023, who doesn't love notion bags, to keep your project in, whatever it is you're making, keep the yarn in there, set it wherever you're at. Normally for me, it's like by the side of my couch or like here chilling in the yarn dungeon somewhere. Love the fact that it's a little drawstring bag. So this entire colorway is based off of Lake Atasca and it is on a Pippet DK weight, 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. There is 100 grams, 240 yards. This deep intense blue over here. I'm just really excited to take this up and see kind of how the colors expand. That blue, I mean, I want a hank of yarn just in that color. Seriously. The intensity of that is ridiculous. The tiny baby hank is 49 yards and 20 grams. Every month I'm going to make a beanie from this. And I just have a very strong feeling since I saw this and immediately thought of someone in my life that it's going to be the same way for every single month with every single colorway. When I came home, I had a package waiting for me, even more yarn. This is from Yeti Yarns, which is a company that I have not purchased from yet, but this color that I specifically wanted is called Radioactive Bubblegum, the most intense pink ever. And I, again, had a human in my life that I was like, this is gonna be perfect for. So once again, this will be a gift making yarn. Look at that. This is ridiculous. It is not even going to pick up on here. The intensity of this pink just burns your retinas in the best way possible. Radioactive bubblegum, drop bare DK weight, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 245 yards. I ended up getting three of these. What I had in mind was a cowl with a matching beanie. I was planning on making this as a birthday present. I don't know if I can wait that long. Like, honestly, I know I'm going to cake it up today. Like you and I, we're going to do that right now because we're doing the other three. So like, why not? Let's just do them all. This color in particular, there were only four left on the site at the time that I purchased them. And it seems like this color sells out very quickly for obvious reason. It's a very punchy pink, just like in your face type of pink. So I now have six different hanks of yarn to cake up. These two, I definitely am gonna work up today into beanies. And then if I have time, I'm gonna work this up. Cause like, I just was not expecting this to arrive today and to like get into it. But really that's why I love the Addy knitting machine is because things just work up a lot quicker than I'm expecting. Hypothetically, I should be able to get what? Three beanies and one cowl done. Yeah, I should definitely be able to get that.
This one is absolutely crazy. Toxic Fruity Pebbles. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Super soft, as always. Since this one was fingering weight, it is a little bit of a tighter hat. I kind of like my beanies like this. I say like I'm gonna wear it. It's not for me. Colors, they kind of just like pop out the more that you look at it. And the tweed. I think I'm gonna have to go back. I definitely would like to make another sweater with this yarn. It makes me want to try all of the other colors from Yeti yarn, like literally all of them. This has a little bit of white throughout it too. So it's not a solid pink, which I love. I don't normally wear hot pink, but for whatever reason, I'm always drawn to this color. I'm like, somebody that I know has to love this color because I wanna make something with it. If I were to make it for myself, I would have snagged like a black yarn. There are a couple of different black yarns on the site actually. Done like the brim black. The person that's gonna be Thor, they're gonna love it. I was really hoping that the blue was gonna spread out throughout the entire hat because it's so freaking pretty. I just didn't want it to color pool all in one area. I love how this turned out. Incredibly cozy. I did make this one a little bit bigger than the other two, but this is like an extra large adult hat that I needed to make for it. So it looks a little bit big on me. Which I'm just excited that I have three gifts ready to go right now. I've never felt this at ease for gift giving. And these are for birthdays, which I'm normally so last minute when it comes to birthdays because with major holidays on my calendar, I'm reminded, come constantly. We have sales going on in the yarn store, reminded as well. But for birthdays, I'll get a reminder like two, three weeks before whatever I set it as on my phone. Hey, if you haven't started on anything, if this person's having a birthday, you should probably get going now. It's a weird sense of calm, but you know, hey, I'll take it. All right, ghouls, that is it for me today. So thank you for hanging out with me, going over to Muse 2320, checking out some brand new yarn and also Yeti yarn, radioactive of bubblegum yarn. We
we have not seen the last of this in the yarn dungeon. I have a couple of other things in mind that I want to play around with this. And especially since it got to be a little bit too late and I didn't make the cowl with it, I have two more hanks of yarn left. So if you have some ideas of what you think would be perfect with this, doesn't have to match the beanie, let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.